boys, Madden just dropped by far, by far the best Ultimate Legend drop of the year. We just got Calvin Johnson, who looks on paper to be the best wide receiver in the game. We got Brian Dawkins, who's insane, and also Derek Brooks, who's arguably the best out of the three that dropped today. It's an insane drop, boys. I have all three of them here today. Although we're focusing on Calvin Johnson, let me show you them all first. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. All right, boys, the main focus of the video, there he is. Calvin Johnson is basically a golden ticket if you look at him, boys. 99 in literally every single stat, basically. Besides what? Just medium running, which 98, you're not going to notice that at all. He is 6'5", 236 pounds as well, so he's going to fall forward a lot. And then they gave him insane zero AP abilities. So now Ultimate Legends at 99 overall get a built-in ability, so he has zero. AP red zone threat but he also got jukebox which is the best wide receiver ability in the game this year because nobody really runs man coverage for route tech but then also they did stack on deep elite which I will say is not as good as it should be it doesn't really counter KOs I've seen it counter KOs maybe like one out of like 50 times but it's free so I mean maybe you'll get lucky one time it's there but the jukebox and red zone threat for zero is absolutely amazing no crazy x factor but it is Calvin like I said, I did add the other two as well. Let me show you guys th those guys first, and then let's jump into a game. I know the gameplay is not on Brian Dawkins or Derek Brooks, but I did end up scooping him. I'm also going to be streaming all day on Twitch using these cards as well, if you guys want to see them even more. But Brian Dawkins is disgusting. 98 speed. He is six foot. He has great stats across the board, but we're here for abilities. He's a DB. He has mid zone built in for zero AP, boys. And then you get pick artists for zero, and then you can get any of these, but I think the best way to run it is the exact stack we have right here. One AP for all of that, and then on top of that this is arguably the best card that came out today Derek Brooks if you take a look at his abilities I don't even care about the stats honestly he has lurk artist built in for zero and then he has mid zone for zero and secure tackler for zero you could run flat zone if you wanted to he literally could tackle the x-factors knock out balls and be able to catch everything this dude is insane man this drop was by far the best one of the year let's get into a game we got to see all these cards ball Hey boys, I'm excited to use all three of these cards. We have are taking on Mike Vick, which a lot of people have as quarterback one. We are also still rocking him. And Calvin Johnson next to our other wide receiver we just picked up as well, man. We got some dogs out there. There he is, man. Look at our wide receivers. Our shortest one is literally Larry Fitz at 6'3", which is insane. Calvin, though, jukebox, boys, disgusting, man. I think I'm going to have to highball maybe over that zone in the first play of the game. We need 6'5". To bail us out there. Come on, man. It's so weird because I've been playing the event. You guys know there's no abilities in the new draft event. The, the game feels completely different. Like, you would never be. That's a pick in the event. You can't throw that ball. It's like such a different game. You know what I mean? It's crazy. But let's see if we can get Calvin, maybe. It looks like he is sprinting for Calvin was guarded by Fred Warner, and he still sprinted to him. Just had to call a timeout as well. Calvin was tired after one play, or basically the, after that hit on the sideline. That was kind of disgusting, boys. And let's see. Is he going to follow Calvin? I'm still going to throw this. I think we have it over him. Ah, the KOs, man. This guy is, he's given all of his attention so far to Calvin. Literally all of it. For this game, man, he is just following him the entire time. You can see he's going to the side, he's following him, and then he's going to cross with him if he goes through. But I am running a corner out over here. This is where Calvin should dominate. There's no way it should be a knockout. Come on, man. We have to fight. This guy is making us work. I think at this point, he probably knows that I'm throwing to Calvin out. We've already thrown him three out of four plays, and he was showing it before the game even started. So let's see if we can get him off him a little bit. And no, he didn't follow him there. Jukebox, boys. Oh, that's such a bad juke by me. I juked the first time, but I didn't get the fast juke on the second one. Ah, oh, come on, man. One yard line is tough. I feel like maybe I could have jurtled right there, but I don't know. We're going to finish it off hopefully right here with the jurtle. Come on, man. Calvin, six foot five, the long legs. We should be easily able to get in. Yeah, it's so much better with the taller player. The jet sweep jurtle, beautiful play, man. Come on, Calvin. There they are, boys. We got our guy, Derek Brooks. We got Dawkins up top on the left side, man. This is definitely an awesome experience. I can't wait to use them, like, all day. And Derek Brooks, first play. I don't know what he was throwing right there, boys. We had verticals all bagged. And Derek Brooks already with an interception, man. Let's go get Calvin another touchdown, too, on top of it. Come on, boys. He's already out of there. We had 74 yards and a touchdown with Calvin. We need to go top that off with a better game. Let's get into game two. I mean, game number one went just according to plan. We got to keep on building on top of it, though. The thing with Calvin, though, I feel like it's like every time he comes out, it's like he's always the number one wide receiver. Like, And they gave him jukebox, too. I know Randy Moss just came out with it as well, but they gave him another good zero AP. He's a little bit taller than Randy. And you can see we're going to get to the sideline, hopefully. Come on, man. Good animation so no KO can knock it out, too. Come on. I kind of don't think you need tall receivers like you have in the past, but they're still, like, really, really good, right? Like, Madden 23, they were a necessity, but you could see I'm rocking all tall guys anyway, so I obviously like it. And I kind of almost threw a high ball right there, but maybe on the... Ah, that's a little too far out, man, even for the 6'5", Calvin. 
can't wait to use the new line jerseys next year. They're guard. I mean, if they hopefully they add him into Madden. Madden's been slacking with the jerseys in Mutt this year, but those jerseys are absolute gas, man. And I think he might follow him all the way. Ah, see, this is what I like to see. I've played a game a lot. You could tell I've played the game too much. Is I can tell when people are about to do that, right? You see my B route underneath. They think that I'm not gonna throw it because it's so late in the play, but once they come down, it's just wide open. So nasty, but I'm telling you, man, it works. I do it all the time, and I just realized. Calvin is literally out. That is unfortunate. Well, I had to burn a timeout. I don't know what it is. In gameplays lately, I swear all my players have been just, just dead all the time. I've been burning so many timeouts. I didn't have to do this in the beginning of the year with gameplays. But hopefully we get distracted with these routes across the middle. Maybe we can get the corner over there. We need a lot of yards. And we got bumped. That was crazy. I mean, we got bumped right there. It looks like it probably would have been an open touchdown. But we got crazy bumped by the corner so nasty man now we're to third and eight come on our third and 18 we need to build on this. this has been way too good of a drive not to succeed real quick right here and look at calvin boys jukebox jukebox again and you guys know megatron 236 pounds i mean dude he, i mean i love randy moss in the game i love carmichael i love everybody finnerin right now larry fitz i think we gotta give it to our guy calvin man he just got everything him dying for an interception from our guy Dawkins. Dawkins was expensive, by the way. For any of you guys who do not know, Brian Dawkins is wax. Like, absolute wax. We need to get some stops with him. I think I paid 2.4 million for him. Insane, dude. I just, I, I don't know. I love Dawkins. He's never, I could never, I don't know what it is, but they always make him LTD, and I feel like I never have Dawkins on my team. And I decided to spoil myself a little bit here, so we added the big dog, man. Let's see. He's throwing the crosser, maybe. Ah, man. Dude, all day down there. We need these X-Factors to go off. I need Roman Reigns to lit up. Double plays of the game sucks. When Roman Reigns isn't lit up, it's just miserable down here. But let's see, man. We can get one stop. All we need is one. And also, he doesn't even have a secure on his right tackle. I'm guessing he has that on Whitworth on the left side. But, boys, Dawkins already. Ah, oh, the double KO is the worst thing in the game. When they both hit them at the same time and the KO doesn't work. That's a crazy read, though. Without looking, he threw that ball right away. You guys know we could bait that later in the game if he ends up coming back to it. Let's see. We got everything caged. Let's go. I mean, this is a crazy formation, boys. I don't even know what to say to this. I have no clue. Nobody ever runs it, so I don't know what to do. And there goes Vic. Even the thing in Madden 24, even when you play good defense, they always get the scramble. But luckily, he forgot how to slide. Come on, man. Give us the ball back. I put Calvin on the outside. We're running a little bit of a zig action right here. I feel like the big guys run the zigs absolutely garbage. So I haven't been running this play a lot this year. But you never know. And also, there's like mid zones and flat zones everywhere too. So just a terrible play. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, Calvin. Let's go all the way, man. We got him stuck on the D-line too. Uh-oh, boys. It might be bombs away for Calvin. No one even close to him. And then when you give him jukebox. Okay, we don't even need jukebox. I was about to say, dude, jukebox, that's a free touch tower regardless. I mean, we are cooking right now, boys. I've been moving him everywhere, both outside slots. And then obviously I've had him in the inside slot as well. I don't even know I said outside slot. You get what I mean, but Calvin's going off. Oh, we got him in I form. I form down two possessions as well when our offense is moving like that. You know you're in a good spot. And okay, never mind, boys. I thought it was going to be Shirley a run, and we got cooked instead. When you think about it, Troy P and Dawkins, I know Dawkins is wax. I know most people can't afford him, but like, how does it get much better, boys? Can we get that stack for zero AP on golden tickets? Like, that's the only way they'll be better. And Derek Brooks, man. At least Derek Brooks made the tackle, but he missed the pick six. Right, we need to be better, man. We're getting drove on right now. And let's see, we got all the crossing routes as well. Warren Sapp, come on, man. There's no better feeling than getting a big sack like that. And oh man, Derek Brooks, please help me and match onto something, please. He feels, he's been calling random formations all game. He loves this formation. He's called this one by far the most. And we are sending the heat out. And again, it happens two times this game. The double KO where it cancels out. Somehow it makes you worse when both of your KOs hit him at once. Actually crazy. Like that's like backwards logic in the game. I never understood that, but... <laughs> I guess it is what it is, man. And let's see what he has for us. We need to get a stop, boys. And there goes Mike Vick. Come on, baby. Who is that? I don't even know. All right. Take a hit stick from the Roman Reigns, man. Come on. Also, how did I just forget about Denzel Ward? I literally just asked, who is that? And that's one of my favorite players. I might be a fraud, boys. I might be a fake Browns fan. And we got this over the middle. I stutter stepped. I didn't think he was going to actually throw it, boys. At least we got the KO. All right, man. Here we go. Big third and goal. This could be a big turning point in the game. Okay. All right, buddy. I mean, that was just a nasty drive all around. I know we got a bomb last play, but this one's a little bit of a different bomb. I mean, we got him stuck. Oh, I thought we got him on the D-line, but he's still slacking, boys. If we get enough time here, I'm going to try it. Why not? We got Calvin. And we got deep threat as well. Yeah, it's, it's a sad. It's really sad. That's a free or deep elite, whatever it's called. We have a nice ability. It just sucks. I mean, at least they tried. I respect EA. They tried a new ability this year. It just doesn't work. KOs are too good. 
I, I knew it was trash. I mean, I, I just threw it. Why not? It's a gameplay. Have a little bit of fun out here, right? And he is sending some heat on me this time, huh? Okay. I need to pick up a first down, dude. We are slacking right now. Third and 10 is nasty. He's starting to send a lot of the boys, though. Free his first down of our life and more. Brian Finneran. Okay. All right, dude. This is not your gameplay, but he... He almost took over. He almost had to take over the game. Let's get a touchdown, man. Let's get one more. Th this would be our fourth touchdown of the video as well. He has three in this game alone, and I think we're going to get it, boys. Maybe on a high ball back here. Calvin Johnson. Red zone threat is... W oh, we're, we're at the 22. You have to be inside the 20. Uh, KO. Like, sometimes I, I think KOs are fine for the game in certain spots, but, like, like come on. Like, right there, that's crazy. Come on. I, mean, I just feel like that is not good defense at all, and it just got rewarded. I don't know. Sometimes it's unfortunate. We got two feet down, too. Red zone threat I thought was going to light up, but you got to be inside the 20, man. I don't know. It's free, so I guess I'm not too mad at it. But Calvin Johnson, we're good. Oh, we couldn't get the juke off. I was trying to juke. We would have had a touchdown. I want to see if we can get him slacking a little bit here, boys. I don't know what defense he just ran. I'm going to take my free thought. He literally just sent the entire curb right there. That probably was the worst play call ever, but hey, we'll take a free touchdown with Larry. And boys, he ended up throwing a pick. Man, and we're about, we're gonna be in field goal range here. E we're about to be in field goal range easily, boys. We're about to be at three possessions. Let's have a let's hopefully get in field goal range and just end it off. Never mind, man. Hey, Calvin went crazy. Feels like every week we have a new best wide receiver in the game, but it only gets better and better. I mean, they just gave us obviously a taller Randy Moss, a bigger one as well, so he's gonna fall forward and jukebox, and then another two zero EPs on top of that, man. He is disgusting. He's definitely wide receiver one. I still think Randy Moss is insane, so if you can't afford Calvin, go ahead and grab Randy too, or have both of you have the coins for it, man. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Come check out the Twitch stream. We're gonna be live all day on Twitch, and I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.